keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. These restrictions will be adjusted subject to conditions on the ground. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the government's top official on infectious diseases. And doctor, welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Good to be with you, Chris. I want to start with those videos that Kristen Fisher just showed of those thousands of people at airports overnight rushing to beat the travel ban, uh, waiting online for hours. You can see them here uh, in close proximity, one assumes, coming back from Europe, some of them have the coronavirus as an infectious disease doctor. Are you troubled seeing this? Yeah, I mean, I, we'd like to s not see crowds like that. And they're doing an incredible job. Uh, we see what's happening. We see what's going on in other countries. We're looking uh, at, uh, we're learning from watching other countries, frankly. With uh, more than 2,900 cases of coronavirus in 49 states across the country, I want to assure the American people uh, that this administration, all of our partners at the state level and local health officials have no higher priority than the health and safety of the American public. And at the President's direction, we will continue not only a whole of government approach, but as we'll discuss today, we'll continue to build on a whole of America approach to confront uh, the coronavirus across the country. The health experts continue to confirm to us that based on the latest information, for the American people as a whole, the risk of serious illness remains low. But because the risk is heavily weighted to the most vulnerable. case hits LAX, a police officer assigned to the airport has been infected with the disease. And at the president's direction, we will continue not only a whole of government approach, but as we'll discuss today, we'll continue to build on a whole of America approach to confront uh, the coronavirus across the country. The health experts continue to confirm to us that based on the latest information for the American people as a whole, the risk of serious illness remains low. But because the risk is heavily weighted to the most vulnerable, to people with immunodeficiencies and to people who are elderly with serious underlying chronic health conditions, uh, our administration, and I know State administrations will continue to focus on the most vulnerable, and we will continue to urge every American to be vigilant in practicing good hygiene and taking the advice of the CDC.